بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. We'll start the section 8.5, which is partial fractions. What's the idea? The idea is very simple. If I have rational function, function over function, or something similar to this, I have function over, over function. If the degree of the numerator greater than or equal, greater than or equal, degree of the denominator, first we'll do what? Long division. We do, we do the long division. The long division will do what? We'll make it just a polynomial here. And now I have R where the degree of R less than the degree of Q. Not less than or equal, less than, exactly, less than. Okay. And then we'll try to do this. If this one, if I have R, um, if R is Q, Q prime of X, I have Q prime of X over Q of X, then this is just the integral will be len of, of Q, hmm? which is, yeah, the integral of R, which is Q prime of X over Q of X, it will be len of Q plus C. This is, this is just, yeah, this is okay. This is not, actually we did something like that before in, in I think in section 5.8. Seven or five point eight. Okay, now we'll come to the case if R is not the derivative of the denominator. I cannot do uh, U and make it len of something. Okay, so what I will do, I need to factor Q. Factor Q. I there is um, a rule um, if you have a polynomial, then you can factor it either as a linear factors or irreducible for uh, uh, or quadratic factor quadratic irreducible they call it I cannot I cannot reduce it quadratic factors that's all so either I have a factor like this to the power R I'm talking about Q about the denominator a1x plus b1 to the power r, that's that's factor can be repeated. Or I have it like this. And this one, how is that? If the, the if the discriminant b squared minus 4ac is negative. Okay. Like this one. If q is x squared minus 1, I can factor it as a linear now. However, if I have q x q plus x. Then I can't take x, the remaining will be x squared plus one. This one I cannot factor it. And if you notice, it's like that. This is b squared minus 4ac, b is zero, minus 4a is one, c is one, it's negative. So I cannot factor it. So this is what I mean by the quadratic factor, ir irreducible quadratic factors. So I have two cases, either I have this Q, I factor it as a linear factors or quadratic factors. Okay. Now, assume I have Q. Um, if I have quadra, if I have linear factors, then I'll do it like this. I have to the power R, I will start with the power one square until I reach R, and the numerator is only constant. Was only constant a1 a2 constant how to find those constant we'll talk about that later if i have quadratic factors to the power m the same thing i will start with one for that quadrant two, two until i reach m but the numerator is what is a linear function a1 x plus b1 okay now how to find the unknown function the unknown coefficient I have here like this a1 or b1, how to find those those coefficients. There are many ways to do that. Okay. Yeah, the general way, the general way is, uh, yeah, you wrote, you write rx of qx, 
as a1 assume over x minus a plus b1 over x minus b plus something. So what you will do, um, what you will do, you will try to simplify this. This is the way he, the way he's talking about. You multiply by q of x. Um, there are two, two. I mean, uh, many ways to look at it, but one way. Let me say c one over x minus c plus something. Here I have other 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 factors. Um, you will try to write this where where q of x x minus a x minus b blah 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 of x minus c. So you write, you need to simplify this in a way. So you have x minus a x minus b x minus c, and you have now a combination of of things here. And then you you try to equate this with r of x since I have the same q in the denominator. This q this is the same q in the right hand side. Then I just equate them. I think by by the example it will be it will be it will be clear. Uh, sometimes if I substitute a specific specific x that will make it easier, and I will I will explain it in details. There is something called cover up. Also I will explain it, especially if I have distinct linear factors that will make it easier to find those constant the a's b's and so on okay if you have um yeah okay so if you have linear factors you substitute the roots you will try to find the ones for repeated use the coefficient okay um, I will I will explain it in, in detail in the examples. Quadratic, you need to expand the basic equation. Uh, let me explain this. This is as as I said, if it is improper fraction, that is the degree of the numerator is greater than or equal to the degree of the denominator. You will divide, you will factor this, then you will try to find the a's and and the cons. Okay. These are some some of the formulas which is maybe easy to to use uh, sometimes yeah if you have x squared minus a squared that will help x squared plus a squared okay now let me explain now i just i want to do the partial fraction decomposition nothing else so what i will do as as we said what are what is the procedure first the degree if the degree is more, then I will do long division. Then also I factor the denominator, and then I will check the cases if it is linear or or or, or quadratic. Okay. Now the degree of the numerator is zero, and the degree of the denominator is two, so everything is okay. So I have one over x square minus five x plus six. I need to factor the denominator, which is x minus two times x minus three. So this, these are linear, these are linear factors. So right away, this is I will write it a over x minus two plus b over x minus three. Okay. Now this is the same factor x minus two, x minus two, x minus three, x minus three. Now the the things what what I am looking for. I'm looking to find the value of A, the value of B, which make this equal to this. Okay. So what I will do, I will try to write this one in a way where I have X minus two, X minus three. I will equate, this is the same. So this is one, unless I know it, but this is, I, I, I try to make the denominator the same. What will be in the numerator? This is, I will divide this by this, I get a times x minus three. Sorry, a times x minus three plus b times x minus two. So what I will get from this, that one equal a times x minus three 
plus b times x minus two. Okay. And this one, I can rewrite it. I have, what's the coefficient of x? It's a side b, a plus b. What's the constant? Minus three a minus two b. And also I can write one as one plus zero x. So the coefficient of x in this side is zero. And what's the coefficient of x here is a plus b. These two should be equal to each other since the numerator should be the same. Since the, I, I fix the denominator to be the same, that means the numerator should be the same. And they have the equation for the for the for the constant. I have this is one, and the other side is minus three a minus two b. So at the end, what I have? I have two equations, two unknowns. Try to find a and b. Okay, so I maybe I want to multiply this by three a by three. I have three a plus three b equals zero. This equation is minus three a. Do it, do it the way you like. I have two equations, two unknowns. Solve for a and b. That give me what? No, this is one. Huh? This is one. I add them. I have b is equal to one. If b equal to one, I plug it here. So I have zero equal a plus one. That means a equal minus one. That means what? That means this one over x squared minus five x plus six will be a, which is one minus one over x minus two plus one over x minus three. And they can check it easily. Since if I do the calculation, I do the calculation here, I have minus x plus three plus x minus two, that will be one over and this is the denominator will be the product of this, which is this one. That will be my partial fraction. This is the general way, which it, it will work with all cases. I try to rewrite this in a way. So just I equate the numerator where, where the denominator will be the same. So it means the numerator should be the same. So I have equations. I try to make it function, I mean, uh, constant times x, that constant, sometimes it's constant times x squared. I equate the coefficients, and then I have equations. I solve for the, for, for those constants. Okay. And I will try to solve this problem again using uh, different methods. Using different methods. Okay. Which will make it easier. This is the general way. Okay, now let me do the same problem. I have one over x squared minus five x plus six is equal one. I'm going to a, huh? a, let me make it what? a over x minus two plus b over x minus three. Okay. Yeah, we did this. We did, we get this one. We get this equation. One. Like what we did, a x minus three plus b x minus two. Okay, a different method. I notice from this equation, if this is true for any x, it should be true. This equal to this for any x. Okay. So I let x equal three. Why I choose three? Because that will make it zero. So that will make my calculation easier. I'll get one equal b times three minus two, which means b equal one. I got the answer. I let x, now I let x what? I want this to be zero, the zero of that, two. So I have what? One equal a times two minus three. So I have minus a is equal to one. That means a equal minus one, which is the same answer. a equal minus one and b equal to one. That's that's one method. That's method two. Method two. There is a, a, a method three, which is they call the cover method. It's it's the same. It's the same as this one, but um, in a quick way. The same. Let me say the same idea. What you will do? I have one over x squared minus five x plus six. This is one over x minus two 
times x, x minus 3, I start with 3, so let me start with 3, x minus 2. And then this is a over x minus 2. I start with 2 or 3, it's okay, in x minus 2. Wouldn't that make a difference, but this is just to make it the same what we did before. Yeah. There is something called cover up method. Cover up method. How to cover up method? Now, if I want to find A, when the denominator, I have X minus two. I want to find A when the denominator X minus two. I will cover this, cover the same fraction, and substitute by the zero of this one. What is the zero of this one? X equal two. I will get A. I will cover up this one like if it is covered. I don't I don't see it unless covered. I substitute by x equal, x equal to I have one over two minus three, which is one over minus one, so a equal minus one, which is the same answer. Now I will do the same to find the b. I will cover what? I will cover this fraction, but I will what what is the zero? Or the zero? will be x equal three. This is what I will substitute. So I will cover this, cover it, and divide and substitute x equal three. I have one over three minus two, that will be one. That will work for, for linear factor, for distinct linear factors for sure. For other factors, you need to be careful. Sometimes you need to combine these ideas. So I have three methods to find the same the same answer. OK. Now let me do it again for this one. And this is ready. So I have the fractions linear, all of them linear and distinct. So that means x squared. Now, now I will do that to evaluate the integral. And by the way, what is the idea in evaluating the integral? Assume I want to evaluate the integral of this. Yeah, let me use this. 1 over x squared minus 5x plus 6 dx. I want to do this integration, which I cannot do. There is no method I can do easily. However, if I transfer this expression into, into what? It was minus 1 over x minus 2. It was minus 1 over x minus 2 plus 1 over x minus 3. So I have this integral is this since one over this is the same as this expression. So I can rewrite it here, which is minus one over x minus two. Let me write it one times the x. So this expression is the same as this plus one over x minus three dx. This expression, I just rewrite it in this way. Will that help? Yes, it will help me to find the integral. Now it's easy to find the integral. This is linear. So that will be minus ln x minus 2 direct. And this is ln x minus 3 plus c, which I can rewrite it ln x minus 3 over x minus 2, because this is minus. I take the denominator plus c. I get the integration. I did the integration by this partial plan. That's mainly the idea. So I'm, I'm rewriting this expression in a way I can integrate. OK. Now let me think about this one. I have x squared plus 4x plus 1. I want to rewrite it. I'll try to use the cover up method. So this is when I factor it, it will be a over x minus 1 plus b over x plus 1 plus c over x plus 3. All of them linear, distinct. So just a half a fraction. I have just, just a constant. How to find A? I will cover up X minus one. I'll substitute X equal one in the remaining. I have what? One plus four plus one. That will be six over one. But I have what? Six over one plus one. That is two times four. So that give me what? Is it one plus four plus one? That will be six. 
I have six over two, that will be one, that will be three. So I have three over four. So A is three over four. Right away. Now, if I want to do this, I will substitute what? X equal minus one. After what? After I cover up this factor, which is X plus one. I cover it up. What you will get? Minus one now. I have one minus four plus one over minus one minus one. That will be minus two. Minus one plus three, that will be two. So I have two minus four, which is minus two over this. So I have one over two. B will be one over two. The same thing here, but I will substitute the zero of that, which is x equal minus three. And what I will do, I will cover up this using this uh, triangle or rectangle or just, just to, to say it's, it's like covering up. So I will substitute x equal minus three, but I will get nine minus 12 plus one over minus three, that will be minus four, minus three plus one, that will be minus two. So I have what? 10 minus 12, which is minus two over minus four, minus two. So this is canceled. So I have this one is minus one over four. That's it. So this expression, this expression, integral, now we'll go back to the integral, x squared, uh, or this expression, now we'll take this, which is, no need. all of this, I can rewrite it in this way. With this is B C's with this is B C. Okay, so I have x squared plus four x plus one. Let me go back to the integration. Plus one x plus three. This would be what? Would be the integral of three over four over x plus one minus four over x plus three dx. This is an easy integration now because it's only len. I have three over four, len the first one, plus half, then the second one, don't forget, then x plus three, answer. That's it. C or K. Let me do more problems. Sometimes I need to factor. So I need to factor it. So it, I need to rewrite this expression as a partial fraction. So this one, don't forget this is third. The I'll take x as a common fraction. Okay, which is what for? Uh, times x minus one. Okay. X times, yeah. X minus x, which is two x minus three. That's correct. I will, um, I will write it as a times over x, that b over x plus three, that c over x minus one. And now I need to find A, B, C. I'll do the cover method. That will be easier. So I'll cover this. I substitute what? X equals zero. What you will get? Zero, zero, minus nine over zero plus three. So I have minus nine over zero plus three. That will be three times minus one, which is three. So A is three. That's it. A is three. Now I'll cover this and substitute what? X equal minus three. See what will happen. Mm. This need a little bit of calculation. I have four times three square, which is 36. Three times 13, that will be 39 minus nine over. This is covered. 
No, no, nothing is there. I have minus three times what? Minus three minus one, which is minus four. So this is what? I have 36 minus 39, that will be minus three, minus, and this is minus 12 over 12. That is minus one. So this is B minus one, this is minus one. And this one three. B is minus one, done. C, I will cover what? X minus one, I'll cover this. And I'll substitute what? X equal one. It will be what? This is covered, huh? X minus one is covered. So I have four plus 13, which is 17, minus nine, let me write it. Four plus 13 minus nine over one times four. Four plus 13 is 17, minus nine, that is eight, eight over four, that will be two. So C is two, that's it. I get all of these A, is, A and B and C. Now I do just integration. That means enough. That means what? What I did here, that means in the four X square. Not in the four X square plus 13 X minus nine over this. Is equal to. Three over X. B is what? Minus one over X plus three. Plus two over X minus one. I rewrite it as a partial fraction. This is the meaning of rewriting as a partial fraction. That means the integral. This I cannot do the integration right away. This integration is easy to do. But when I, I rewrite it, that would be three over X minus one over X plus three plus two over X minus one. What happened? This is easy to do. And this integration you can easily do. I and mean, you can you can you can easily do it. That will be three then absolute value of x minus then x plus three plus two then x minus one plus c, which is this one. Exactly. And this is my answer. So this is the idea of especially if you have distinct linear factors. Let me do more examples. I need to factor it also. Yeah, so let me do it right away. I have integral x plus four. I took x cone factor. I have x square plus three x minus 10. Don't forget the x. That will be x plus four over x. What is this? x plus five times x minus two, dx. That will be a, don't forget the integral, integral of a over x plus b over x plus 5 plus c over x minus 2. Now I need to find a, b, c. How to find that? The same idea. I cover up this, or I can do it the long way. And I have, as I explained before, we have three methods. I can do it the long way, where I have this expression, I can equate them. And I'll tell you later, we need these ones. Sometimes in some cases I cannot do the cover up. Or I can do it by substitution, substitution specific uh, X's so that it will make the calculation easier. Or I can do the cover up method, which is what I'm doing now. Okay. This is what I cover this and substitute X equals zero. What you will get? You will get four over 4 over minus 10, huh? 4 over minus 10, which is minus 2 over 5. So A is minus 2 over 5. That's it. Yeah, I have X minus 5, then I'll substitute X equal X plus 5, so I'll substitute X equal minus 5. I cover up this one. I substitute X equal minus 5. What you will get? 4 minus 5, that will be minus 1 over. That will be what? Minus 5, minus 7. And that is minus 1 over 35. So B is minus 1 over 35. What about C? I will substitute 
x equal to, and they will cover up x equal to. So that means what? I have six, two times seven. So this will be three, that will be one. So it's three over seven. I'm getting three over seven. So C is three over seven. Now I can do the integration. That will be what? Minus two over five, then absolute value of X. I have minus one over 35, then absolute value X plus five, plus three over seven, then absolute value X minus two plus C. That's it. I'm getting the same answer. Evaluate this. The same idea. So let me do it quickly. And I'm, I'm doing other example just to make sure we understand this basic one. That will be x square. Let me do it right away. I take x cone factor. I have what? 2x square plus 3x minus 2 dx. That will be what? Integral x squared plus 2x minus 1 over x. Mm. I, can, I, need, I, need, I need to do now factoring of this. I have 2x and x. Yeah, I need plus 3. So this is, will be plus 2 and this is minus 1. Is it? Yeah, minus x plus 4x. That will be plus 3x and that is minus 2. So everything is okay. And that, since this is all distinct linear, so right away, this is will be a over x plus b over 2x minus 1 plus c over x plus 2. Dx. Now I need to find a, b, c. The same idea. First, I will substitute what? x equals 0. And cover up this. We cover up this x equals 0, substitute, you have 0 plus 0, minus 1. This is minus 2, so I have half. So this is half. A is half. That's it. Here I'm substituting A is down. Now be careful here. I'm substituting x equal what? Half. And they will cover up this one. I'll cover up this one. To get what? Now I substitute half. You know, we need to be careful with the calculation. So I have 1 over 4. Plus one minus one. Okay, good. Over half. This is I don't have half plus two, which is five over two. So I have what? One over four times four over five. That will be one over five. Am I right? Yeah. And of what times the spherical of this, which is four over five. That'll give me one over five. So B is one over five. That's it. This, I will substitute x equal minus 2. But I will cover up this one. OK. Substitute x equal minus 2. What you will have? 4 minus 4 minus 1 over minus 2. 2 times minus 2 is minus 4 minus 5. That give me what? Minus 1 over 10. That will be C. Minus 1 over 10. Well, I can do the integration. I did a mistake. Uh, he says B should be 1 over 10. Is it? Did I do a calculation mistake? 1 over 4 plus 1 minus 1. Half. I'm substituting half. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, substituting half. So half plus two is five over two. Half it will be one over four. Okay. Plus one, two times half is one minus one. That will be one over four. Over. I'm covering up this. Because the others are, are correct. So I have this, so I have half. Okay. Half plus two, which is half plus four over two. 
So you have five words. So you need a spherical of this. One over four. Yeah, it's correct. It should be one over five, not one over ten. Okay. That give me what? Half lin absolute value of x plus one over five lin two x minus one minus one over ten lin x plus two plus c. That's it. Yeah, just double check this. Um, I'm substituting half. I have one over four. Two times half. That will be one. Two times half is one minus one over. I'm covering up this. So I have half. This one half plus two half plus two. Let me write it half plus two. So I have one over four over. Half plus two is what? Half plus five over two. That give me one over five over two. So that's five over four. Yeah, which is one over five. Yeah, should be. Just to be sure. Okay, that's it. That's that will be the result. So hopefully it's, it's, it's not that difficult. Okay. Now, if I have the degree of the numerator is more than the degree of the denominator. That means we need to do what? I need to do long division. I need the long division. So we write this as a polynomial plus r of x over q of x. So let me do the long division over x minus 1. I divide the first by the first. I have x squared. Multiply. Sometimes it's good to do it this way. Leave space for x squared. So I have x squared. That will be x cubed minus x squared. So everything under the same the same category. Now I change the sign. That will be plus. It's, it's plus. I'll make it minus and that's plus. Add them. This is 0. So I have x squared plus x. Are we done? No. The degree of this is more than the degree of this. So continue. Plus x. I divide x squared by x, which is x. Multiply. I have x squared minus x. So I change the sign. This is plus becomes minus. This becomes plus 2x. Are we done? No, not yet. The degree of the denominator of the, of the remainder is the same as this. No, I want it to be less. So I divide, I have plus two, multiply. I have two X minus two. Now I change the sign, that will be plus. So this is two. What's the meaning of this? The meaning of this long division, that means X cubed plus X over X minus one is the same as the result, which is X squared plus X plus two, plus the remainder, over the device over x minus so that means what i rewrite this expression this one i rewrite it using this one so it will be x squared plus x plus two plus two over x minus one. don't forget the x now it's easy to integrate i don't need partial fraction also and maybe the second second one i need partial fraction okay so that means what? I have x cubed over 3 plus x squared over 2 plus 2x plus 2 ln x minus 1 plus c. And this is the answer. Okay, let me do this one. Where the degree is more, but this is also I need the partial fraction. I'll tell you what, what will happen. Now I need to do the wrong division. 2x cubed minus 4x squared minus x minus 3 over x squared minus 2x minus 3. So I, I need to do the long division, huh? long division. This by this. I divide this by this, I get 2x. Multiply, I have 2x cubed minus 4x squared minus 6x. I have plus, I change it to minus. This is plus, this is plus. Add them. This is cancelled. This is cancelled. I have 5x minus 3. Okay. 5x minus 3. 
Are we done? Yes, the degree is one. The degree here is two. I'm done. That means 2x cubed minus 4x squared minus x minus 3 over this is equal to 2x plus 5x minus 3 over this. So this one, I rewrite it 2x plus 5x minus 3 over x squared minus 2x plus 3 dx. That's easy to do. Take of 2x is just x squared. But I have a problem here. I need to do this. Factor this. I have x and I factor it. And it's minus 3, sorry. That will be minus 3. Yeah, so it will be x minus 3 times x plus 1. x. OK. 5x minus 3 over this. Now, what I will do, I will do partial fraction for this one. That would be x squared plus this integral. I have a over x minus 3 plus b over x plus 1 dx. Since they are linear, distinct linear factors and distinct, I can use the cover up method. OK, so I cover up x minus 3. Substitute by 3, I have 15 minus 3, 12 over 4, that will be 3. I cover up x plus 1, I, I, I substitute minus 1, that will be minus 8 over minus 4, that will be 2. Now I can do the integration, that will be x squared plus 3, then x minus 3 plus 2, then x plus 1 plus c. I have the answer, which is exactly the same answer. OK. That's. OK. I think I'll do this one, then I will stop. Now, what is this? Also, if I have A not equal to this, yeah, I'm, I'm doing it in terms of A. By the way, that I think one, one of the formulas. Yeah, it was this one, the last one. So I'm, I'm, I'm trying to prove this formula using this partial fraction things. OK, so I'll do the same thing. This is 2x, x minus a, x plus a. OK. So this one will be a over x minus a plus b over x plus a dx. I'll do the cover up method. Now I cover up, I, I cover up this and substitute x equal a. So you get what? 1 over 2a. So that will be 1 over 2a. I cover up this and substitute x equal minus a. You get what? Minus 1 over 2a. By the way, this is, you can check it easily. Just uh, find the cone denominator and, and do the calculation. You will get this one, which is very clear. I have 1 over 2x plus half minus 1 over 2x plus half, so I'm getting 1. So the answer is 1 over 2a, len of this, minus 1 over 2a, len of this. So I can rewrite it. I can take 1 over 2a common factor, or I have len x minus a minus len x plus a. By the way, plus c. Huh? Don't forget plus c. So I have 1 over 2a, len x minus a, over x plus a plus c, and that would be the answer. Yeah, that would be the answer. Now we'll move to the case where I have multiple. Now it's, it's linear, but to the power two. Um, I think I will stop here. I don't want to have long video. Then I will do these things with multiple. Also, I combine it with yeah with other things, and then we'll move to quadratic factors and see what will happen. Yeah, I think it's good to, to not have long because this is the first one. I want to make it easy, uh, easy one. OK, so let me stop the recording. Stop the recording. Thank you.